Hi there, Taurus. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus for the week of August 22nd. If this one doesn't resonate so much, Taurus, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We're looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person. I'll clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe because I post weekly. If you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my info down below in the description box. My least expensive is $20. And if you would like the extended reading, click the join button. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. So we have someone here who is holding back. We have the four of pentacles. That's someone who doesn't want to be vulnerable. They're not opening up to you. They're not giving you time, energy, effort. It's entirely possible that you're doing this with another person. Take this as it resonates. We have the two of swords, which is kind of being blinded. Sometimes it's choosing your head over your heart. But I do think that this person kind of, they don't see everything. She's blindfolded. She's tied up. Uh, the same thing is happening over there in the Eight of Swords. Self-limiting behavior, self-sabotage. Being kind of stuck. I do think this person is holding themselves back. They're holding back from this connection. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. That may as well be like disconnect from this relationship or pull back. You may or may not be in contact with this person. And if you are, it's almost like, you know, two steps forward, one step back with this person. It's like they're very antsy. We have the seven of cups, which is confusion, illusions, delusions, someone who's trying to make up their mind here. And even when showing up with the Two of Swords and this Eight of Swords, it's like this person can't see what's in front of them. Um, that Seven of Cups is like hazy energy. I, I don't have clarity here. I'm, I'm missing something. I'm not seeing something here. So there's something that this person really isn't getting about this connection or about themselves, about you. All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this person. Okay, so we have the Temperance card in reverse so far. That is major for uh, Sagittarius. In the reverse, it's being impatient or there is an imbalance between the two of you, an imbalance in this connection. Uh, before we go any further, I also want to let you know that there is a thunderstorm brewing outside, so if you hear loud thunder, just, just know what's coming, all right? Don't want to scare anybody. So, what is going on with this person? Okay, we've got the Two of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse is being indecisive. Uh, the Two of Wands is a very long distance, or excuse me, a very long-term relationship card. It's looking ahead a couple years from now, four years from now, six years from now. I do think this person is indecisive about their future. They're not really sure what they want. I think that's why you are kind of struggling a little bit with them. I do think they're kind of going back and forth. There may be some wishy-washy energy. All right. Hold on. Okay, that's better. So... What is going on with this person? Okay. Well, we have the dev or excuse me, the devil showing up here. Uh, this is Capricorn energy. It's also self-limiting behavior and self-sabotage. And it's showing up with the Justice card in reverse. Let me arrange these. Okay, so there's some truths, like some truth that this person isn't speaking to you with that Justice card in reverse. 
it's major for Libra. You could be dealing with the Libra here. And we've got the devil, major for Capricorn. Possible you're dealing with the Capricorn. But this is also self-limiting behavior and self-sabotage. All right, the plot thickens. We have the two of cups and we have the four of wands. So what the heck? All right, two of cups is feeling as if you're their partner, you're their person. They have this close connection to you. They feel like you're the one. Four of wands is feeling at home with someone. It's a desire to take things to the next level, but they keep on holding back anyway. It's like they only want to be with you, but they're holding back. All right. Um, let's clarify this and see what comes out. All right. And stay tuned to the end. I'm also going to pull a card for how this person currently feels about you. Although that two of cups is a strong clue. Okay. We've got the nine of... A the Nine of Wands is showing up here, and we also have this Two of Swords in reverse. So Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. It's someone who's kind of exhausted, but they haven't given up on something. This person may have been through a lot in their life, or there may have been a lot of water under the bridge in this particular connection. Two of Swords in reverse, feeling overwhelmed, like indecisive, and that's kind of sticking out everywhere here. This person's indecisive. We have the moon, major four, both Cancer and Pisces. The moon is things that are hidden. I think this person keeps their emotions hidden from you. I think they're struggling with them. Um, sometimes the moon is like fear, worry, anxiety. I'm not sure if it's like a fear of commitment. It's a fear of allowing those feelings to surface. They may keep a lot from you, a lot's, well, a lot is there beneath the surface. You're probably intuitively picking up on that. All right, well, we've got the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Sometimes that can mean a third party energy. Not really feeling that here. I think it's more like, I don't know how to talk about this. I don't know how to work with this. Um, that Three of Pentacles is like the two of you cooperating, having conversations collaborating, doing something about it. And we got the two of wands in the upright. They're trying to figure out a path forward. And I do think they want it to be with you, but it's like they have to get out of their own way to make that happen. There's a lot of, of self-sabotage that keeps this person down. I think that's why the free yourself uh, card showed up earlier. They, they're showing up here as like tied and bound quite a lot. They've tied themselves in knots here. All right, one more card and then let's do the current feelings. Okay. We have the King of Pentacles. That's you, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This person, yeah, all right, they want you. They want to be with you. They want this new beginning, but it's like they have to get out of their own way here. Like, they love you. They want to be with you. It's just they're holding back here because I think they're afraid. Let's do the current feelings. All right, so what are the current feelings for you. Okay, we've got this three of pentacles. That's feeling like the two of you are in this together. You're working together, building something valuable. They value you. They value the connection. It's worth the time and energy and effort. I think it's just they need to get out of their own way here to make this happen. That's both a dating and a friendship card. It's also wanting to have a conversation with you. So 
I think this person's realized that they need to kind of stop whatever this is. It isn't working. I think you can expect them to have a conversation with you. I don't think it's right away though. Um, all right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe since I post weekly. If you want your own private reading, you can find that down below. My least expensive is $20. If you want the extended, we're going to go into this person's feelings, their intentions, the advice. That is $10. You can get it by clicking the join button. All right. Blessed be.